Damn. I'm still trying to, like, I'm still puzzled that this nigga dead ass really got arrested. Well, no, I'm not. I guess not. I haven't felt this way since the end of the snowfall, my nigga. But it gotta be tough going through what you're going through and you find out that your mans was wearing a wire. That's fucking insane. They said that this nigga did 12 years and Dirk had gave that nigga 50k. Just for this nigga to be wearing a wire. That nigga Dirk might be cooked. Not even might be. That nigga Dirk is cooked. It be your own fucking peoples. Um, no. Now. Smoking weed together, counting money together, money spreading together. Y'all probably didn't just smoke hookah together. Y'all probably didn't did mad shit together just to find out that this nigga was wired the whole time. It's crazy. Um, hey, tell me. Tell, tell me what's going on, Jim. Hey, you know what's so crazy, though? Motherfucker be sitting up there doing all this. Sneak this and internet games and all this. Up some money, do something. Like, <laughs> we winning, bro. I can do it. Whatever it is I want to do, I can do it. Just not what I want to do what I want. Y'all can't do that, bro. Goof bro, out. Bro, got out what? You know that we did. How many you did now? How many years I did it now? Yeah. It's a little bit. 12. 12. That boy popped out 12 years. 12 years. So much money. We really was just getting that shit in order to just figure out the lanes, man, man, boy. This shit feels so. Did 12 years and he tried to get him back on his feet just for you to wear a wire. That's tough. Good, <coughs> yeah, man. Two lawyers, man. I tell him about the building, you got? Probably pay, probably pay for his lawyer fees and everything. Probably put money on his books, everything. Everything. Man, it's closed on the building, man. We ain't fucking around. You know that we did it. <laughs> it's, our it's our time, man. <laughs> this nigga retired. It's an evil world, my nigga. Your mom used to always tell you not everybody your fucking friend. Nigga did just crazy. Uh, not too long ago, like when you come home. So I've been home a little bit over here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A little bit over here. Twelve years flat. Twelve years. Like twelve years. <coughs> yeah, my time. Ain't told them nobody. Right. And Nigga. No food shit on my name. Now I'm back. When I'm living <laughs> life, I never thought I'd live. You know. Yes, yeah, yeah, but like, if you can't talk about it, like, uh, why did you have to sit down for 12? I went to jail for a temp. Okay. A temp, man. It was more than that, but shit, that's what I did my time for. Okay. In the temp. You know. Street shit. Yeah. But shit, like, like, how did you even get linked in with, uh, just OTF, period? Yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? I started linked in, yeah. <laughs> when you grow that, this ain't no people I met. Nah, I knew them, like I'm saying, this was before jail. I know Dirk was rapping, we had that, we came out that loud yeah, when our yeah. lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh like back oh, then, yeah. like before y'all, y'all never even heard of that. Like this was shit in our parties, like yeah, personal phone. shit. Yeah. Knew him that long and you still, boy, I mean, I guess he ain't have no choice. This is for all my street niggas out there. You know what I'm saying? The niggas that be in my comments saying, oh, you shouldn't speak on street business. Let me ask y'all street niggas something. If you did 12 years and the feds knock at your door and they be like, look, listen, you got to wear a wire. And if you don't wear a wire, nigga, you going straight to jail for the rest of your life. Would you do it? Now, you just came out and you just served the crazy bit. You just did 12 years. Fast forward, Dirk and some hot shit, and the feds come knocking at your door. And they say, if you got to wear a wire and you got to cooperate. If you don't cooperate, nigga, fuck 12 years. We giving you life. And it's the feds. So you're going to do every stretch of that time. Y'all holding it down or what? This is a question for all my street niggas. I'm saying like that, bro. I'm saying in my old time in jail, that stayed, bro. Like, before the money. You know what I'm saying? That was broke. Like, I remember when the money wasn't there. 
For me say you 50, I'm like, yeah, I got you, man. I ain't still doing that shit. my lawyer money and everything when I'm fighting my case. I ain't gonna lie, dirt come through. All that, like, dirt come through. That's sure. So I don't give a fuck. Nobody say, like, I know I'm a real witness. Like, a lot of niggas can't say anything. I'm gonna take them on the life. My whole time was yet, I was straight. What's up? What's up? Like, he was one of the main motherfuckers that held you down your whole bit. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the guys did, but hell yeah, he was. I hood like that shit. though. Yeah, I hood like that. Yeah, yeah. Everybody get taken care. Everybody get taken care. Of. Sure. Um, no um, sense. Gang shit, none of that shit. Just like some family shit. Right. My so, brother locked up. Yeah, we always came together and made sure the guys were straight, right? Yeah. Shit, yeah, this before. Before you know, I was going rich. to Idaho and all type of shit. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. bro, like played this part for sure, like. Overplayed it. I love both of that. Nigga, you don't know them that much. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let's see if I have Yeah. Yeah, because he, he's super solid, but like a lot of niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? He said, he said uh, Jam, get out that jam. I'll give him 50. He ain't got to ask again, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got to ask shit, bro. He said he gave you 50, bro. All you know facts. what I'm saying? Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what that? 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 Still up. And you wore a wire. And he may be going to prison for life. Ain't that some shit? I haven't heard I, I haven't heard Hassan Campbell in a minute. Let me see, I wanna see what he got to say. I wanna see what he got to say. I wanna see what he got to say. Shit <coughs> Shall we begin? This nigga wearing a fitted with a do rag? Oh nah, this nigga's different. <laughs> this nigga's all right, all right. One of my favorite slogans that y'all know me for is pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. Right? I say that for a reason. I don't trust nobody. And I definitely don't trust all these dudes that's coming home from the federal penitentiary. What I gotta put that in subtitles or something? Sue Surf, shout out to Sue Surf. I don't trust no one. Especially these dudes that's getting time cuts coming home from the federal penitentiary. You know, being in jail, right? I learned that you can't trust dudes in jail because some of the dudes that's living right next door to you, that's stabbing dudes up with you that you think is the realest, are working for the DEA. I remember back, there was a brother, <coughs> brother from Webster, Barney Blow. Shout out to him. Last time I seen him, we was in, I think we was in HDM. We used to go to court together. And allegedly, the brother had a brother from the law library that was helping him with his case. And when he went to trial, from what I heard, the dude from the law library that was helping him with his case testified on him. So all along, he was trying to act like he was trying to help him with a strategy to go to trial. But he was really looking to get the details of his case so he could testify on him. Nah, that's crazy. That's insane. Shall we begin? Now, let, now with this dude that told him a little dirt, right? Allegedly, he comes home from jail. Dirk gets him a crib. 
Dirk gets him a car. Dirk gives him fifty thousand dollars. All alone, Dirk is welcoming his brother home with open arms. But what he didn't know was when his dude was in, in jail, locked up, they won't let me out. No, when he was locked up in jail, the feds came and paid him a visit in a cell and offered him a deal. I can't tell you what they whispered in his ear that would make him flip on his brothel. CMB! CMB! <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man, that's tough. That hurts. That hurts. Finding out that your man's wore a wire after you made sure he was set. Like most of the time, I tell these rappers, like, okay, well, maybe that, maybe you ain't take care of your guys. Maybe you ain't take care of your. Nah, that nigga made sure he was straight. He said it out of his own fucking mouth. He said he gave him more than fifty k. Still put that Y on him. It's tough. That's tough. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. No, he wasn't. So after two years of communication and conversation with Dirk, imagine all the conversations that the feds have on that wiretap. The feds could have been took down Dirk. They been had evidence to convict him. They had everything that they needed, but they allowed him to push the gang culture continuously but when he decided to take a stand and reverse the evils that he did, this is the reward when you turn your back on Satan. This proves, if you're not paying attention, that this industry and the federal government, well, they've been had everything that they needed. To arrest Dirk But they allowed him to continue To make drill and kill music As long as they profited off of his evil And the boys in the hood Was destroyed By that drill sound That drill music And being on demon time It was A-OK -okay. But the minute Dirk decided That he was going to reverse the evils and convert and have people call or come to the call to prayer, Islam. Well, it is what it is. But remember, see this vi this video don't have to be one of them long and drawn out videos. There's no reason for that. Pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. You know how bad I want to take a stack and just throw money around and say, yo, hit him with the head with the head shot. Go turn his TV off. Go rock his snot box. But I learned throughout the years, I could tell you many of stories. See, it's easy to move in for the kill. It's easy to go out there and turn somebody's TV off. But when you hear that siren, whoop. That's the sound of the police. And they coming to get you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Muck some suck some sayings. <laughs> All them gangsters, when they get in that quiet room, they have loud conversations. Picture what they say. Well, in this situation, we don't have to picture what they said. We see the results of what this dude did to Dirk. And all that work his father did, trying to change his son's life and spend time with his son and be a father to his son and be a father to the community. Well, all it took was a rat to rob him of everything. Ah, uh, yeah. But let's let's not act like Dirk wasn't putting it in the music. Uh, but uh, you right, you right, you right. I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I'm spitting, I'm spitting. 
because nowadays the music that you make, I don't think they could charge you off the music that you make. So they can't charge. They, I don't think they could do that no more. And yeah, yeah, he got a point. He got a point. He got a point. But he did put it in the music now. You know what I'm saying? He did put it in the music. I'm just saying. But he right. He right. He right. Let me. All right. Go ahead. Unk, keep spitting. The streets don't love nobody. The streets got an expiration date. And when dudes got their back against the wall, you never know what's in the. You don't. You never know what's in the hearts of men. Something in that man's heart went sick towards Dirk. Something he didn't forgive him for. I don't know what that is. Or maybe it was just his selfish reasons because Dirk did everything a real dude was supposed to do when this dude came home from jail. When he didn't even have to entertain him. Sometimes Facts. He really didn't. Sometimes when you go Hollywood and you elevate yourself to a certain level, you can't go back. It is what it is. That's my take on the situation. Pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. My prayers go out to Dirk. My prayers go out to his father. My prayers go out to anybody that's been hurt in the situation. I'm out. Ready? Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Tough pill to swallow, but Dirk, I guess he saw this shit coming. What the fuck did Charleston White have to say about this shit? I know he probably about Body to come crazy. Laughing at dirt like they were laughing at me when I went to jail. Nigga, come on now. Nobody laughed at you when you went to jail, nigga. <laughs> I know what I'm <laughs> So ain't nobody laughing at dirt. Now it ain't funny. Now your favorite rapper go to jail and look like he got a no bond like me. <laughs> that boy got a federal no bond. Ooh, I bet that nigga ass hold and closed up. He got a burp to pass that. <laughs> he can't even fart out his ass. I know, I know the feeling. Boy, they get your ass and they put a hole on you. Boy, nigga booty be tight and the motherfucker sitting on that bench. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Now, all y'all who said my time coming for saying King Von. Saying fuck King Von. Oh, his time coming. They go get him. Drake time came for saying fuck Tuka, or is this his karma? I, I don't know. Y'all be so hypocritical when it comes to your favorite rappers. I don't even know. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, boys and girls. Say, let's make fun of Dirk like y'all made fun of me. Better when y'all thought I got shot. Look like that boy has in trouble. <laughs> Salute to Lil Tim. Um, the demons stay up. I bet he going to PC. Them California niggas gonna try to extort it. One thing we know about California, the Crips and Bloods rule. GD, BD, on four them, they ain't got no say so nowhere. <laughs> but when they write a letter to somebody. But in the California prison system, cuz and blood run everything. I mean, they gonna put him in PC regardless because he's a, he's, a, he's a public figure, but... Eh. And Pyru, that GD, BD, uh, for them, mm -mm, it's gonna be hard on his ass because they're gonna be trying to extort him because they know he got money. He might have to pay for a little protection. You know what? He might be all right because he joined Asalaamu Alaikum. One thing about it, Asalaamu Alaikum, they look out for each other. <laughs> see, see, boy, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Boy, I'm riding through Oak Cliff right now. Boy, it's a beauty. I'm finna ride by where Mo 3 got killed in here in a minute. <laughs> This nigga, man. This nigga, bruh. What Mo 3 gotta do with it? Let me find me a good little derp song to play. <laughs> yeah, Alright, then, nah, nah. He gonna get me copyrighted. Alright, we gonna leave it right there. Unk Wildin'. Uh, he didn't really say too much. I'm really shocked. I'm really shocked that his man's really told on him, though. That's, that's, that's a tough pill to fucking swallow. That's a tough fucking pill to swallow. That's tough. That's tough. Damn, that's tough. What else did they say? Any other updates? Any other? Mm -hmm. 
what he what what, what J Man got to say? Dirk was trying to get the on. Do your home. I know he was trying to change his life, but it was just a little too late, bro. I'm sorry, it was a little bit too late. When Wallow and Gilly was trying to holler at him, and Wallow was pleading for him to change his life, that's when he should have been like, you know what? Let me pivot a little bit. You can't force a nigga to change if he don't want to change. Don't work. Oh, trying to whoop the feds on for them grades from the rack. It ain't different, free folks. Let's start here. Let's just break all down. Oh, my kid. Do your homework on trying to be in Italy, Switzerland, and Israel. Folks was going to Israel. On for them, only we know in Israel was, was Jesus. On for them, folks was trying to get back on for them grades. Do your homework. Then you got this OTF jam. Jam is up. Like, let's just. Yeah, free the real on my baby. It it hit different on phone them. I'm all at the at the concert. Dirk just brought me out on stage trying to say the kids push the peace on for them gray. We was on some new shit on for them gray. You got a who you done fed on for them gray. It's bogus, folks. I don't care where y'all from on for them. That is bogus though. That man gave you 50k. Made sure that you was set up. Made sure that you had a crib. You ain't have to worry about shit because you did that 12 years. But I guess I understand it because if the feds be like, yo, listen, if you don't set that nigga up or if you don't fucking wear a wire around that nigga, then we're going to make sure you buried for life. And ain't no man bigger than the feds. I don't care how tough you are. So he probably thinking, nigga, I just did 12 years for an attempt. You feel me? Now they telling me if I don't cooperate. I'm cooked. What good is the money if you if you spend the rest of your life in jail? Anybody, if they was in his position, they would probably snitch. You got two options. You either hold it down and face life in prison, or you wear that wire and we can cut you a deal. The nigga just did 12 years. He ain't trying to do another stretch. And he ain't got lawyer money like that. Anybody in his position would have folded. If we really being honest. I'm not saying what he did is right. I'm not saying what he did is, 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 is you know what I'm saying? Like, if your mans take care of you and give you 50000 and get you back on your feet. You know what I'm saying? But you can't just simply just blame OTF Jam. You got to blame Lil Dirk, too, because it's nigga, it's like, nigga, why are you still living like this? When you got all the fucking money in the world. But people be saying like, oh, just because you got all the money in the world, that don't mean that I'm like, bro, you got to move a certain type of way when you got generational wealth. You can't be slotting because if you who going to take care of your family if you're doing all the slotting and getting caught and getting arrested. And this is the I keep saying this over and over again. This is the feds. If he is convicted, he is going to do every stretch of that time. And he's facing life in prison. Great. I don't care what size y'all from for this. Bogus on for them great real feelings. It different, man. You feed it. Why he spitting on the camera like that? For twelve years, he come home with a, a wire. A wire. A wire is crazy, bro. A wire. Do y'all homework on me bringing my mama. So the feds was watching my mama too. It hit different. I'm. Am I in some shit, man? like? Let's nigga, you're you're good. <laughs> you're you yeah. relax, nigga. You're good. You're good, nigga. I just strike there. Like, I mean, we got a little link card fraud. I, I, I just be real. I'm pulling them. Who I, I need, you know, I'm really stopping the violence and pushing his people. All right, man. That's enough. But let me know what you think about it in the comment section, man. It's a tough pill to swallow, but leave a like if you enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.